Hey guys, this is um, director of the Hero of Sodor, Luke Dion, or Lucas. Yeah. Um, I am doing a unboxing. I haven't done these in like years, man. It's insane. But these are most of these are the uh, last items I need to finish filming. So. Yeah. Sorry, uh, sorry, I'm kind of zoned out. I just got back from um, Jamaica, so um, I already uh, opened this. This is a Lego microphone that's going to be for uh, new scenes. And then this this came super early. This is a Trackmaster. Uh, Captain, and oh my lord, this thing is huge here. Let's compare it. Like, oh my goodness. I did not expect them to be that big. It's, I used to have a take along one. Or, no, sorry, let's put it between Edward and Thomas. But, um. Yeah. I did not expect that thing to be that big, so. We'll put that over the side. Sorry about the background. It's one of my sets that I built, and, um... Yeah, sorry, no spoilers. Shut up! Uh, we're gonna... I, we have a lot of packages to go through. So, we're gonna start off small to biggest. And I do have some props or and rolling stock to compare to, so... We'll do this one first. Yeah. It's probably another Lego figurine. What the? I got that. What the heck? Yep, it's another Lego figurine. Um, I believe I'm using this as the mayor. I, yeah, I believe I am. Yeah, hey, that face really reminds me of uh, how Sir Bertram looks in Sodor Then and Now. Yeah, it's the same, you know, Lego head, but... Yeah. Nice gray hair as well, and then... Of course, his... Uh, paintbrush. I'll do this one next. A lot of these smaller ones, I know it's like, I don't know, Lego pieces, because I need some for like human figures. Uh, this is a letter, I think. I don't know, or just, yeah, it's... Oh, the, it's the city cameraman and reporter. Yes, I, def I definitely need this. There's gonna be like two different, um, two different news reporters. There's gonna be news reporter Jonah. I will be voicing him. And then, um, yeah. And then I forgot the other one. I need to have this stuff written down. But, I mean, they're not, I don't really think about them that often, because, like, they're basically just, you know, secondary supporting characters. So, I mean... Same with a lot of the engines. A lot of the engines you see right there, they're all main characters. Um, okay. Very, um, I think this goes here. And... Yeah, this is the news report. Uh, no, no, not this. No, this is the cameraman. Oh, I think this stupid thing doesn't want to cooperate with me. Yep, this thing does not like me. Good grief. Okay. Come on, hold still, buddy. Where's this popped up? Popped off. Hold on. Good lord. Oh, that's cool. He has a little mic 
on his face. That's cool. I didn't know Lego could do that. And then there's the news reporter. And of course, I have her microphone, which is right here. Uh, news reporter, um, news reporter Maya. That's her name. Okay. I already know this is a. A lot of the smaller ones are Legos. I already know it. This is cringy. Good God. Again, cringy. I think I made a mistake. I ordered myself a bunch of random figurines for passengers. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna take the head off and, I don't know, maybe draw. Uh, draw hair, that's what I've done with a few characters. I know that's probably a stupid idea, but I think it's fine. So, put these guys up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Alright, it's like 10. Um, ooh, this is perfect for the ninja guy in um, the movie. Yeah, uh, well, oh, I can get all that later, to be honest. Um, alright, next one. I, I, I don't even feel anything in here, so I have no idea what in God's name this is. Okay. Uh, aha! Oops, sorry. Bingo! I've been looking for these. Yes. Now I can fix a lot of those uh, models um, that don't have couplings. Oh, I know what this one is. I'm, oh, man, I'm excited now. Uh, this is a big one, but it's in a very, very small... Here, let me grab... Let me grab three people for a sec. I need a new Ziploc bag because this one's kind of falling apart. And these, yeah, these Lego figurines are pretty rare. Okay, so we have two of his bodyguards. Sir Topham had him, the man himself. And, oh my gosh. I think it's just so cool that they have the audacity to make this item. I'm very happy. Kind of heavy, actually. Man, it's actually heavier than... Um, <clears throat> Lady Hats. Wow, she's actually... She's kind of taller than the bodyguards. Oh my goodness. Like how she's just <laughs> standing like a soldier. That's kind of funny. Uh, yes, another little paper. Ooh. Oh, I just noticed this one. Uh, someone said thank you. Hang on. Are the back couplings? I know it came with back couplings. Maybe just sent me the front couplings. No, oh, that's alright. I don't think I, I already have plenty of back couplings. I, I have them on my desk. Oh, here's one. And then I have one that like goes like on a uh, tender powered engine, like um, Molly or Murdoch or Hank. Because I uh, already already put them on and stuff. I already like connected their uh, batteries. No, 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 not batteries. I connected their. What did I connect? I connect their coupling to their, I use, you know, a regular coupling between, uh, like, Murdoch and his tender. And I did the same with Molly, because, yeah, I don't. Murdoch and, Murdoch is, uh, background, Murdoch is, like, a 
he's like a secondary character. He's not that important. He might have some dialogue, but... Uh, Molly, I don't know. And to be honest, I don't really care. Okay, no, that sounds a little harsh. He's just nothing to write home about. What is this? Oh, it's Caroline! Kinda wish I had the Trackmaster one, but... Very... Squeaky. Yeah, I've been tracking her down for a long time. Oh my goodness. Whee! Death. Alright. That's our first box. Let's do this one. I'm just... Yeah, it's round and stuff. I don't know what the heck this one is. Oh, it's the buffers. So I'm running low on bu buffers. You know, bust my buffers. Bust my buffers. What kind of brand is this? Is this a toy company or a toy company? Because I think that I think the Fisher Price ones they they're a lot more harder to get off. So. Yeah, because like the one from the I don't know the zip zip zooming zip zooming logging adventure set, the buffer is like snapped off. It wasn't like this. There's another. I think all these are hit toys. Hit toy company. Oh, I love hit toy company. The those were like the golden golden toys of Thomas. I, I swear. Two like I don't know the mid the two thousands was amazing uh, was an amazing market for Thomas I'm being straight up I loved it I call it yeah it's like a gold mine all right this is gonna be fun to pick up oh my goodness. hang on a sec give me a few minutes and I'm gonna clean this up okay uh, next one. Who is this? This one's huge. I have no idea who this is. Not sure. Maybe, uh. Oh, I'm not gonna say it. So I know for sure who it is. Oh, yes! Heck yeah. Here's a great item. <laughs> Heck yeah used to have this when I was little, when I was like nine, so almost ten years ago. Come on, Steven, come on, buddy. Does he have a battery? Hey, at least he came with his side rods, because he didn't come with the tender, but not to worry. Ah, here it is. Right here. And that's why I bought these. So, we'll get that covered in a sec. Alright, here we go. We'll put on battery on him later. Steven won't really... We won't really see that much of Steven in the hero of Sodor. He's basically... Maybe he will have dialogue, I don't know. But... Yeah, I don't know, I feel like my collection feels a lot more complete than I have Steven, and, uh, especially Caroline. Um, so yeah, that's that. Alright, next one. Uh, I'm kind of happy to be back home. Alright. Let's see who this guy. Oh, yep, I know who he is. Buster. Oh, wow, I just busted him myself. He didn't come with his roof. Wee. See, he's steering himself. See, my George doesn't have that. <laughs> um, rock and roll. Yeah. 
I did like Bob the Builder when I was a kid, but Thomas was always the best. And always will be the best. I'm sorry, no one no one can ever top Thomas. Not even Veggie Tales. As much as I love Veggie Tales, Thomas will always be the best. Even better than Spongebob. Alright. Here we got a not sure what this is. Man, a lot of these are really curious. Like, like I, I don't know. I sometimes feel them, and then, I don't know. They're... Oh, yeah. This is... This is Caitlin's coach. Not in the best condition, but I'll live with it. Here, let's compare it to Gordon's coaches. I had this up for a reason. Basically a repaint. I used to think that her coaches were the exact same as these. Oh, I just remember seeing these on YouTube and I'm just like, no, see, first seeing these, I'm just like, as a kid, I never knew the, the Express coaches existed in Trackmaster. I obviously knew they didn't in Take Along, or... No, no, yeah, they did in Wooden Railway. Not, just not the green ones. But, like, when I saw that they made red ones, I'm just like, what? Like, I never knew this. It's because when I was, like, I don't know, 2013, 10 years ago, I... That's when I started realizing, you know, you know, that's when I started going... That's when I started doing... That's when I started watching YouTube and stuff. All right, this one next. I don't know what this one is, but we'll find out. We'll find out. That's crazy, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, what do we got here? Okay. Wow, I totally forgot I bought him. Wow, he even gave me batteries. Thank you. I'm probably gonna take the motor out, because I hate Trackmaster But, I just felt like it would be, you know, I don't want a single Samson out, and I'm really, oh, hey. We got more of these little, uh, little flatbacks. I have one of those for Rocky. And then, what the heck is this? Oh, Nelson! Hey, Nelson! Now I have the complete pack. Um, I'm missing Isabella. Um, I don't know where she is. I, I don't know. I think, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We don't. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's kind of sexist. I'll try to look for her. I still got time. I'll I'll maybe do some searching tonight. I still need a. Still need to get uh, other characters as well. Uh, I'll be right back. I have to use the bathroom. I mean, washroom. So. I'll do this one. A box in here, so that's I don't know, it doesn't feel that big, but Ooh, more buffers. Now I got like Eight of the regular buffers, and then have like three of um. They're on the set. I got three, three, four of these. Yeah, three or four of these, and then I have a Trackmaster Two one. But I only use the Trackmaster Two track just for the buffers and adapters and all that crap. Uh, other toy company. Oh, dang. 
I don't know if this is OCD, but I'm just curious. Cause like I've never, I don't think I've, I've barely ever seen um, <sighs> Mattel make buffers. Like you know Fisher Price. I don't know if it's Fisher Price or the toy company. <sighs> I like them equally. I like Fisher Price mostly because of the, you know, the painted faces and stuff. But Kid Toy Company, I felt like they did a much better job and stuff. And their things are probably a whole hell of a lot more valuable. Yeah, sorry if I cuss. I don't think saying hell is a bad word, but. I don't know what in God's name this is. Uh, oh, that is Stafford. Okay. I used to have Stafford because I don't know if you guys seen. I'm sure you guys seen scenes with the uh, the short orange brake van that he came with. Yeah, this orange brake van. Yeah, this does prove that I did. I did used to have a Stafford. But I don't know where he went. It's, yeah, he's been missing for like five, six, seven years. Oh yeah, I even gave him a, gave him a fist. So yeah. Hang on, let me put all this crap in, a, in this box here because I yeah. Uh. Oh my goodness. So cool, finally. I have so many engines now. It's, it's nuts. I, I love this. I really love this. I, uh, I love me some Trackmaster. And Tommy and Playrell and, you know, etc, etc. Good grief, I'm full of myself sometimes. Uh, but, yeah, I'm excited, honestly, I'm, I'm actually really close to being done filming. <sighs> Alright, we'll do this white one. Don't know what the heck this one is. Where's Connor and Caitlin? I know I got both. Yeah, I just borrowed some. My bad. I know what these are, I just don't know what what boxes these are and stuff. Ah! We got some, some firemen. Very nice. It's gonna be very useful. And then some workmen. So this is for like, I know they're like construction men, but I I sometimes use them for, you know, workmen, drivers, or... No, not drivers, I use these men for that. Or just screenshot or screen record stuff from the classic, from, no, the entire model series. But I use these for like workmen in like the shunting yards and stuff. It would be very useful for... Um, uh... Uh, Nafford. I haven't built Nafford yet. I'm saving that one for- I'm saving Nafford for last. Ooh, I wonder what this one is. This is the big one. Actually... Um, no, we'll do it. We'll do it. Alrighty. Ooh, ooh, heck yeah, oh my goodness. We got the blue branch line coaches. Kinda look a little green, a, t a teensy bit. And the roofs look a little, a little more gray. Here, let's compare them to these coaches. Probably gonna give them a repaint because a lot of these have scratches, but these work very nice together. Maybe 
Maybe some scenes you'll see this. Hang on, let me... You'll see like... You'll see like a tree like this. I don't want to get those... Green scene side coaches, but... You know, beggars can't be cheap. Hey, these are nice. I always... I, what? I don't know. I know I've said it before, I hate seeing Thomas, Edward, and Gordon in a dark blue, but this is, this is pretty cool. I'm glad they don't have, like, full-on gray roofs. Like, dark, dark gray. These, it's like a normal light gray. It's, it's nice. I like it. We'll put that aside. I know there's something else in here. Uh... This might come as a huge surprise to a lot of you. I know you're gonna think I'm crazy for this, but... Does she have a battery? Emily. Uh, this is for my girlfriend. Yep, I said it right. This is for my girlfriend. I'm, I'm giving her Emily. And to be honest, I don't hate her as much as I used to, but let's just say right now, I'm not very fond of her. So this is what her side rods look like. Wow. I didn't do that. I thought, they were, I thought her side rods were like... I remember I had Emily when I was a kid, and oh my goodness. I think her tender looks way too big, but you know... No, this won't be mine. I'm trying to order her coaches for her. Um, I guess she will be in the movie, but no dialogue. Sorry. Not a big fan of the Tommy face. I think the Trackmaster. I think Trackmaster did better on the face. This is a you know a Tommy Emily, but the 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 tender is Trackmaster because I see the holes and stuff. And yeah, we'll put her there. Maybe I'll put her number 12 sticker, because I do have her number 12 sticker, um, but, I don't know. I kind of don't want to, because I don't see, I don't see her as engine number 12. Alright, we'll do this Amazon one. This isn't by Amazon, they just use the box. Alright. Oh, look at him. It's everybody's favorite character ever. No sarcasm at all. It's Billy the old game. Oh, I'm Billy. I'm Billy. I'm gonna show these coaches. I don't know. Maybe I'll voice Billy like that because I don't know. I don't think anyone would want to voice Billy. Everyone, everyone hates Billy. Who makes uh, a good partner? Does he have a battery? No, he doesn't have a battery. Honestly, very detailed. I kind of like it. I did, I used to have Billy when I was younger. Yeah. Yeah. I might keep this bubble wrap and use it for water. I wish I could use real working water, but I would always have to drive to a pool and stuff, and indoors, and that's... It's decent! I wouldn't say it's great, but it's decent. I think it's somewhat... It's somewhat, you know, realistic. Alright, let's open this next one. Uh... Here's an engine I don't really care about, but... I just felt like, you know, to include her. Flora. Uh, I don't think she'll have any dialogue. She didn't come with her tram coach, but I don't care. She's not even... Yeah, she's barely even gonna be in it, but... Yeah. I guess... I guess she'll just only be there for, like, big, pitiful moments. You know. Like they did and you know, it episodes where the engines are together and stuff. 
All right, I think this, yeah, this is the last one, so. I think I know uh, which one this is. I think I know which one this is. Oh, goodness gracious, okay. I hope none of oh I guess not real I hope none of these sh showed my address but oh well oh my gosh heck yes yes let's go oh I actually kind of forgot I bought him oh Hector. Needs a few fixes on the paint on his face. There's a few paint chips, but hey, a lot of engines have that. I still gotta fix Toby's and diesel tens and Goco's, etc., etc., etc. Uh, hang on a sec. There might be. I know there's another one. Hang on a sec. All right. I th okay. Now I'm for um. Oh gosh, I don't know if I can get my address. Gosh darn it. Uh, great. I'm gonna have to edit that. If I'm able to. So I just started editing with a MacBook. Oh god. Ouch! Damn it. Sorry. I need it. I need to keep it PG related. Cause this is kind of supposed to be a kid-friendly channel, despite that the movie isn't really gonna be for kids. Here's the thing: I barely, I'm, I barely post on YouTube. Here's the reason: I'm kind of making the hero of Sodor um, professional, and then kind of making it like how real movies would, you know, you know, promote things on YouTube. This will be like a YouTube movie, but I'm also trying, trying to put it in on DVD and stuff, and my MacBook is helping me with that. Um, but anyways, so, yeah, basically, yeah, that's that. Um, These things with bare hands. Uh, who is this? Who in God's name is this? Oh! Ah, now the collection feels a lot more complete. Oh! He even has batteries! Arthur! I don't know. That's how I feel like he can sound. And then here's a boxcar. I used to have this. It came with uh, Sir Handel, but I don't know where that went. You, I always use it as a mail car. And then here's Arthur. <laughs> yeah, he needs new batteries, but... Oh, he's a nice release. He's definitely up there. I wouldn't say he's my favorite favorite, but he's up there. He looks very nice. Very nice. I don't know who's my favorite uh, model. Uh, I really like Edward. I really like James. Henry's nice. Toby's nice. I like Thomas. I like Duck. Uh, the twins look amazing. Boko looks uh, really nice. Uh, Salty looks amazing. Hmm. Diesel 10 looks amazing. Uh, Heroes, beautiful. Yeah. A lot of the items look great. I would say it's a tie between Edward or James. One of those two. 
because how accurate they look. Yeah, uh, the James that I use, it's not the player all one. I would use the player all one, but I don't know. I, I think the I think the James works it out. James looks a lot more accurate to the show. That's still not the last one. There's one more, I think. Hang on, let me check. Okay, now we have the last uh, item. Alright. This time, I'm actually gonna, you know, hide the damn box. Very unique and fascinating boxes, to be honest. Like, we saw an Amazon box, we saw, like, a... Yeah. All four boxes. Fragile, fascinating, cardboard boxes. This is the same guy that I got my Player All Edward and Player All Henry from. And other. Oh, yeah, I got a. Got my Player All Thomas from him and a bunch of milk tankers. Ah, Caitlin. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Look at that. Holy cow, that is sick. Oh, nice and long. I used to have the Trackmaster one, but, you know. It doesn't say the year. I think this is 2013 or 14. Man, that was coal and stuff. That is thick. That is thick. It's so cool. I really like it. We got a coach. Connor's coach. A bunch of scratches on it. Um, Caitlin's coach. Kind of the same, but with uh, turquoise or aqua or whatever the heck it is. Uh, we'll compare it to Express coach and Red Express coach. I wish I had the, it would be cool to have the blue um, express coaches. Yeah, but I got like all sorts of different coaches. Here's Connor's uh, tender, which is uh, freaking huge. All right. Achoo. Oh my gosh. The wheels on this thing, man. Oh, just like Neville, they actually took the time and money to do the, you know, to actually gave him these special styled spoke wheels. It's, oh my goodness, that is amazing. Holy cow. Oh, I cannot wait to put batteries on these guys. I might, I might, I might use them. I might do scenery with them, which is like mainline sets. And then we got one more item. It's another of uh, Caitlyn's coaches. So looks like I'm gonna have to. I don't know. Oh crap! Sorry, the camera fell. Um, there we go. So we got two of Caitlyn's coaches. Um, yeah, I tried looking for another one of Connor's coaches, and I couldn't. And I'm still going to. It's like one of the last items I need. So, sadly, he only has just one coach, but I guess I'd be grateful that I even have these guys, but, I mean, to be honest, I think I like the Trackmaster faces on Connor and Caitlyn a lot better than the, than the Player L, but the Player L one is a lot more detailed. Oh my goodness. Boy, you just gotta miss play well. Dang it. Oh well. Dang, but I swear, this is a heck of a lot longer than, than my old con was. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute, is he even... Here, let me grab... Let's grab Gordon. Dude, he's even longer than Gordon. Oh my lord. That is 
crazy. Gosh, Playrail, you guys are... Oh yeah, he's definitely longer than Spencer. Oh my lord. That is crazy. Holy crap. Oh goodness, that is crazy. Whew, sheesh. That is cool. Very nice item. Yeah, I will be making a uh, collection video when the movie comes out. Uh, no, before the movie comes out, but you'll, you'll be getting that around summer, but... Very nice. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Well... Yeah, those are all the items I got, and um... Yeah, uh, there's a few items I still am really trying to, um, purchase. Uh, such as Bill and Ben. Um, I know I said that they might not be in the movie, but I guess maybe I'll try to just get them in, but again, no dialogue. Uh, Isabella, maybe Dash, Bash, and Ferdinand, and then try to get another one of Connor's coaches. Um, and then, um, um, thank you to Nays. I think I pronounced that right. Yeah, Nays. He is offering me uh, four C motors for uh, Ari, Bert, Squatter, and Dodge. Because I need I need to do senior year with them, and it's gonna be tough doing it with fishing stream knowing that James he his wire is broken and I gotta fix that. Want well, my last few seems to be uh, really good. Um. Oh. Yeah, so Bill, Ben, Isabella, maybe Dash, Bash, and Ferdinand. Uh, I'm gonna, I wanna try to get Marion. And then I need a, a, another nap station, another uh, Trackmaster nap station. And other than that, I think I'm, I think I'm good. And, uh, Connor's coach, too. But, uh, yeah. I think that's it guys, that's, uh, yeah, so thank you all for joining, and I will see you guys in the movie. Hey guys, um, so, this is another, uh, quick little unboxing, I kinda wanna, uh, speed this up a little bit, cause it's kinda, it's really late in the morning, no, not, not late in the morning, but, yeah, it's like 11 o'clock, almost 12, and, um, yeah, and then, um, what else? Yeah, and my phone is, uh, pretty low, so I kind of want to, uh, make this very quick. Got another package. Um, what's it called? Uh, so this is probably the second to last, because I have a few more things. I have a... I still need to get Bill and Ben, and then I have to uh, get those commissions from uh, Pushing P. Proteus. Shout out to him. He's making me a custom Daisy, uh, Derek, and Fergus. Sorry if you can barely hear me. My stupid dog in the background is um, barking like a moron. So, um, all right, so we will... Uh, so, we'll, uh, so first, we are going to do this. So this is a, a little player out truck. Uh, yes, you'll probably know what this is. And then we have a player out Marion. Very, very nice. I really like this. I really like this. It, it, she's unmotorized, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, I don't. I don't really mind. I like how her shovel arm is posable and stuff. Not to mention, it's glad that someone made Marion. I mean, I mean, Trackmaster canceled her and stuff. Because again, Trackmaster, uh, not Trackmaster, you know, original, but. Trackmaster 2 is lazy as hell, so. And she 
she'll go shunting. She's shunting her little truck. So her shovel's clogged or something like that. I, mean, I don't know. I'm just, these dogs are stupid. Alright, uh, here's the real gem. That is... what the hell? Gator, and I don't know why his, his gear is... what the hell? Alright, um... Yes, this is a beautiful Clayrel Gator. Very nice. I really love this guy. So we are going to unscrew him. We are going to compare him to his uh, Trackmaster 2 model and compare him with Percy. Alright, we're going to see what his problem is because I have no clue what his problem is. So I want to test a battery on him, but at the same time, I mean, I don't think I'm able to because it's. Oh, never mind. I got it. Okay. Never mind. That was easy. <laughs> so I so I was worried over nothing. All right. Um No, it goes this way. That's how they Yeah, you have to be a lot more Maybe I might replace his uh, rubber tires eventually. Um, and then I'm going to quickly. Holy crap! It's actually you have to like use your muscles, like you have to use your finger muscles to push that switch with um, Gator. Just uh. Um, keep that in mind when you do that. Uh, okay, we need this. Yeah. I do not use Sharpie anymore to keep painting buffers when they keep fading off engines. So, we are going to... Carefully draw a circle like that. There you go. At least they didn't have to make you repin the buffers here. And then let me do his eyebrows too. There you go. I think that looks okay. Yeah, it does. He looks great. I love I love the play relegator. Looks beautiful. All right, let's give him a test run. I don't know. Maybe it's just the battery that's so low on him. Let me check. Or maybe he's just generally like I don't know. So I don't want him to be slow. I'll need him for a couple scenes. Maybe we'll try Percy's battery. Let's see how it works. Yeah, so he's just generally just this is his. Yeah, I wouldn't say that's slow, but I'm not I, I'm not very fond of his speed. Let's just say. Good God, Percy is fast as hell. Probably the fat, probably the fastest out of the out of the main, or Douglas. I don't know. 
my Edward is pretty fast. Uh, James, Henry are pretty damn fast. Percy is super fast. My Douglas is pretty fast. Um, Oliver is pretty fast too. He's just really weak. Percy, we will actually, hang on a sec, Percy, you wait right here. Okay, so let's unscrew Gator back up again. So yeah, Gator's just jumping. Yeah, the way that I'm looking, he's not in... Actually, no, he's... He's in good condition, I guess, but... There's some tiny little scratches on him, but... Oh, yeah. That'll be an easy fix. So, you're going to... Put Gator right there for now, and then we are going to grab this TM2 model. Which is very. I am not a big fan of this guy. This guy actually kind of sucks, to be honest. Yeah, uh, you guys might be wondering. Oh, why the hell did you buy a uh, track, a, no, a play route gator when you already have used this guy? Here's the thing. I am refilming scenes. I originally wasn't gonna refilm Brendan Harbor, but that's his first scene. Oh god damn it. Sorry, I spoiled I just spoiled it. Damn it. Well I can't spoil the next thing. Oh gosh, I need to keep my mouth shut. But um anyways. Any yeah, my point was Um Sorry, I, I lose my train of thought. I didn't go to sleep until like five in the morning. Like until yeah, I was up until five in the morning. I only got like three hours of sleep. But anyways, um, so yeah, I have to refilm a bunch of my scenes because uh, I upgraded the main, uh, the the ten main characters. Yeah, the main 10, and then I upgraded Diesel 10, and then of course I upgraded Gator, and then I wanted to add it, uh, Marion in here, because I just felt like, you know, it's very, it feels very weird to not include her. It really does. And I'm trying to get Skiff, uh, on board too. So, hopefully, probably a player all, um, Ryan, and then Bill, Ben, and then the three commissions. Daisy, Derek, and, um, what's his name, Fergus, and then we'll be complete, everyone will finally be here, and, um, oh yeah, uh, just like the last behind the scenes, oh crap, his battery just fell, I mean his, uh, coal, coal department. I uh, finally fixed our uh, engine number five, James. And he is noisy as hell. Very noisy. I'm gonna have to fix his um, back, uh, back of his tender. Cause I'd use Sharpie. Guys, listen to me. Do not use Sharpie for your, um, model. They do not work. Only for, only temporarily. If you don't have a paint marker, then you can use Sharpie. But don't, ex d just don't use it on, like, the eyebrows or other details. Like, please don't use the eyebrows. I just used it on my Edward, and now I, I regret it. A lot. I use it on my Henry too, so yeah, so yeah. For buffers and stuff, 
you can go ahead, but they come, they some, they fade off eventually. So, and if they don't, and if you know, if you keep getting fed up, just like I was, because I have OCD, I'm very, very picky with, you know, how I want my engine to look, you know, nice and handsome and beautiful looking. Just, just use these. Uh, you can get them at like Walmart. I got mine at Walmart. Yeah, but trust me, you'll, you'll love, you'll love these. You'll love using these. These are amazing. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be uh, all for today. Um, so I think the last you'll see is the <coughs> are the commissions so um yeah I'll see you guys then oh. hey guys uh just another uh, quick update uh again I already know this unboxing is gonna be long but I got two new packages. The commissions are not here yet, but I um, thank you to um, Chris and Pete Proteus. Uh, they will be on the way, and I've already said it before, he's the voice of Duck and Rusty. Here's one that I bought myself. This is Isabella. She was the last member of the pack, and I'm just like, wait a minute. I I don't think, it, it just feels weird to not include her. Kind of thought, you know, she was a, a, you know, kind of a Karen, but I mean, uh, yeah, I already know. I'm probably going to get hated for that. Um, yeah, so we got, oh crap, we got, maybe I'll make mine out of clay, but she's probably only going to make a cameo. A lot of the characters are. I'm just including as many characters as possible because of, um, of, um, you know, complete, you know, complete a sick. Here's one I'm kind of excited for, and you guys might think it's very shocking that I never had these two. I think I used to, at least one of them. Uh, they are twins, and they are actually the last pair of twins I need. I am not a huge fan of these two characters as much as people would think I would be. I honestly prefer Donald and Douglas a lot more. But... I'm not a big fan of these characters. I've never really liked any of their episodes. As a kid, I always got bored of them. But... I just felt like it felt so wrong to not include them. Bill and Ben. Yeah, they do need, um, yes, their, their stickers are, uh, very, not in the best condition, I think, just, hmm, they need a few touch-ups, but I could... As a matter of fact, I actually do have their stickers right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the, all right, so we'll do, uh, I think this one's, yeah, this one's Ben, I know that. Yeah, this one's Ben, this one's Bill, so. Bill's nameplate, and then I kind of, I yeah, these guys are kind of beat to hell. Oh crap! Ah, forget it. I don't, I don't really care. Bill and Ben are also not really gonna have dialogue either. 
that they're characters I've never really cared about, but I just felt like I felt wrong to not include them. I don't know if I'm gonna paint their faces. I might... No, I will. I want as many of my engines looking up to date as possible, so... Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'll paint their faces. Alright, so... There's Bill. Ben, he doesn't... I don't think he needs sticker replacements. Oh, wait, Bill needs his... His windows. So, we'll give him... Gosh, these are difficult to stack the cool on. Yeah, it sucks that, like, track, like, I don't know, Mattel didn't put the stickers on. Um, characters like, I feel like they only, they did it with all characters except Thomas. Like, is it just because Thomas is the main character and, like, you guys only care about him or something? Or, like, there's a lot of characters that you didn't literally add that with sharpie and you know i think that's a little unfair and kind of you know kind of, it sucks I don't know. ben looks like he you know kind of got dirty or something i right now i'm not gonna put a battery in them because I'm sure they work fine. Nas told me they work fine. But, yeah, they look kind of worn out. I don't care. It's fine. It's better than... Yeah. So, that's that. They look alright. I wouldn't say they're my favorite characters, because I have no fond memories of them. But, I mean, they're alright. They're just, you know, they aren't characters I just go crazy over, but it's very nice to have them. I am I feel like my collection, my collection feels a lot more complete now that I have these two little morons, but yeah. It's going to feel a hell of a lot more complete once Daisy comes in. I'm so excited for her. And then here's Boko. Uh, and then... We got some others. We got Marion. Also works at the China Clay Pits. Timothy is somewhere. Edward's over there. Yeah. Again, I don't think Bill and Ben are gonna have dialogue. No, I've never. I didn't write anything for them. They'll just be in there for camp. They're just gonna be cameos. Uh, let's see. Do I have to paint this? No, I do not. Yeah, Ben. Ben is beat to hell. It's okay. It's an easy paint job. I have the red stuff for that. Um, so, this is very rushed. Very last minute. I had no idea these two were coming. And I knew she was coming. I, I just got, I got the note. Oh, sorry, some pennies fell blue. I knew she was coming because I had the notification. But, um, yeah. So, I decided to do a quick unboxing for these guys. So, yeah. It's very rushed, I know, because I gotta go soon. Um... So yeah, guys, um, stay tuned for the next unboxing. I th um, I'm getting a uh, another Dennis. Uh, that's going to be for Norman. And then um, other characters, um, Jeremy, and then Daisy, Derek, and Fergus, and then uh, Spencer's coaches. Oh, and Skiff. Trackmaster Skip. I wish I had the player on one, but oh well. Beggars can't be choosers. But, uh, alright guys, so I gotta go, so I'll see you guys in the next behind, behind the scenes or unboxing or whatever. Alright, see you guys later. Hey guys, um, this is my, uh, last unbox. Oh, well, actually, second to last unboxing. Um, Second to last package for the uh, props. All right, this is the Sodor Suspension Bridge set that I got done filming. So, 
um, just to let y'all know, this, it was by, um, okay, I can't, because it has my address. This box is from Pushing P. Proteus. He is the voice of Duck and Rusty. I've said that a couple times in other of these videos. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this and then, um, show you guys what this is. Oh my God. I am excited as hell for this. I would show this on camera, but... Alright. Oh my gosh. So, let's, um, let's get this guy out first. So first we have a Trackmaster Jeremy. Now I had to, I actually bought this, but I was buying him stuff for his for his series. So um Yeah, um basically I needed a Jeremy because I felt like my collection would feel a lot more complete with him. So, that's that. I am super happy. Very nice. Kind of big, too. Holy crap. Yeah. I would get the Bachman one, because this Herald is Bachman, but... Yeah. Oh, well, it's still nice. I really like it. So, uh, that's that. And then next, we got... Oh, my lord... Ooh, okay, I'm gonna save this one for last, but here we got this guy. Here we got Fergus. Yes, yes, oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, he actually told me about this. Oh, it's all right. Just gotta be really careful with him, I guess. Oh. Alright, so this is a take along Fergus, something I used to have as a kid. But, uh, this genius. So, yeah, anyway, sorry about that. Um, very nicely detailed. I like the weathering on this bad boy. Don't know if he's gonna have dialogue or not, but oh my lord, he fits on track very perfectly. Uh, let's see, let's couple them up to a truck. Oh my gosh, it's like half as, it's like his size. The truck is a hell of a lot longer, I mean wider. Yeah, so I guess you can say he's the only engine that I need for fishing string, but it's justified because... Even, even if they Trackmaster or Tommy did make Fergus, I'm sure he would have to be one of those engines that the Rolling Stock pushed behind, like Harvey. Alright, and now for the big one. Oh my gosh, I am excited for this one. Here is Daisy. She looks incredible. This was like, um, built from scratch. And I think this is, I think this is a diesel 10 chassis. Yes, it's a diesel 10 chassis. Um, let's put a battery in her and see if she runs. One second. I know I have a C battery in here. Oh, no, I can just use a double A battery. Yeah, she looks great actually. I'm gonna have to do some painting, some painting on her. Um, 
then uh, wipe her face off a little bit. But uh, other than that, she looks, uh, she looks fantastic. I can't believe it. I finally have a daisy. Oh my gosh. Very last character is... Here, let's get her a test drive. Oh my gosh. Very, very slow. No, definitely not, but... Damn, even this evil 10 chassis is longer than the current. So I wonder how this thing was made, then. And I kinda wanna be careful, because I think this is... I believe this is made out of clay. But again, she looks super damn good. Oh, I love it. Super damn good. I'm so excited to, to use her. She'll have a few lines here and there. Um, I guess she's going to be like as prominent as like uh, Harvey, Stepney, and Paxton. So. so kind of a main character, I guess you could say. But um, here, let's compare her to Boko. Again, <laughs> hell of a lot bigger, but still, still fantastic. I love it. Then we got that here. Yeah, I think she looks great, to be honest. The, oh, I just realized the coupling, the coupling on here looks really different. I don't know. Kind of giving me knockoff vibes, but to be honest, I don't care. I just, I'm just happy to finally have a daisy. Oh, uh, this is great. Much better. She rolls a lot better now. Oh, damn, that's some good speed. Much better. I love it. It's great. I got. Oh, I'm so excited. Very nice. I love this. Looks great. Thank you, Pushing P Proteus, for this. I am really excited. And then up next. The very last prop I need is Derek. But other than that, I think I'm pretty good to go. Um, so again, thank you so much. Oh, here's his buffer. These are Bachman buffers, actually. I can just super glue those. I have super glue it um, as we speak. But uh, yeah, this is. Oh my gosh. Oh, it feels like I have a complete collection now. Well, minus class 40 and... Well, okay, we'll forget about them. I'm talking about, you know, mainstays of the show. Well, Derek... It, ah, forget it. Oh, this feels great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and I'll see you guys uh, in Derek's unboxing, which is some, a character I am really looking forward to. All right, hello everyone. So, this is our final package right here. Yes, it's big. Hang on a sec, let me let me try to find the um, tripod. I know it's in here. 
Okay, now I got the tripod. All right, now let's open this bad boy up. Very, very excited for this. This I this is the last package minus um, Derek, but right now Derek is unknown. We don't. Because pushing P Proteus is kind of busy at the moment. And. Yeah. Plus, I mainly wanted Daisy, because Daisy will be having dialogue. I actually need to find it a. Um. <laughs> sorry, so I'm kind of tired. I just went clothes shopping with my dad. And, uh. I did not know the box was going to be this big, but hey, I'm kind of amazed. Not as big as the Action Cannon box from what it looks like. Wish I had that in my hands right now. Oh my gosh. I love Action Canyon. The only Hit Toys box that I actually have with me is the... Uh, Thomas at Tidmouth Shed's box. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Just... Yeah, because, um, two years ago when I was, uh, getting ready for production, I was still buying props. And... Originally, we were gonna build Tidmouth Shed's like, from scratch, but... Because back then, Tidmouth Sheds was hella expensive. This could be useful for something. Um, but then I found, like, one for, like, like 40, and then another for, like, 150, and I was like, you know, that's not, that's not half bad. This I could definitely use for water in the near future. All of this, actually, oh my gosh. Yes, I am keeping this blue stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Guys, this might get a little, you know, confusing. Because at first you guys are going to probably be like, Why the hell did you buy another Nafford station? Don't you already have it? Well, here's the thing, guys. I think... I feel like I needed to get another Um, man, he packs this thing real good. Oh my goodness. So much. Well, not package it, but just freaking put bubble wrap all over the dang thing. Oh, no way, it even comes with these. Yeah, no offense, these, these kind of suck. I wish I had more of these, but... Six? Yeah. It's probably 2009 since this thing is. Um. Sorry, I should. Uh, pull it up close. I don't know. Apparently, I saw a video where this thing was supposed to like have a battery in it or something. I don't know if you. Yeah, I have no idea. But. I'm just happy to finally have this damn thing, because I... Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna... What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put... I have another one, so... I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this one for the other... other one. And I'm gonna uh, see what I could do with this, because this, this is... So yeah, here's that. Oh, uh, there's some track in here. 
from what I saw in the photo. Uh, shout out to Pushing P Proteus. He helped me find this. And indeed it did. It did come with some. Uh, here's a straight. You never have too many of those. Uh, got this. Again, running low on those. More of these bad boys. And then, let's see. There are two engines in here, which I actually would love to talk about. And I didn't even ask for the engines, they just came with it. And I just decided to go with it because... Yeah, two more straights, and then here's another switch. Okay. Um, we'll do Thomas first. So yes, of course, it comes with a Thomas, and... Damn. Oh, this is nostalgic. I love this Thomas so much. Oh my god. The battery too. Does it work? Indeed he does! Does he have a cracked axle here? I don't think so. The stickers are kind of uh, not the best condition. Well, this one, yes. But oh my lord, I love this style so much. Definitely a toy that makes me smile. Because that Thomas, back then, that was my childhood. Hang on, let me have a drink. Alrighty. I don't know if you guys saw in the video, but... Um, here... Ah, here he is. Oh, yeah, he has a battery too. This is Boko. Honestly, not gonna lie, he's in pretty good condition too, if I'm honest. Um, I really don't care about the gray wheels. I think, I think they fit him. Let's see. Shocking that, oh my gosh. I did not even know Boko out of all kit. What kind of battery, well, yeah, the C battery, but I never seen one. Mm, excuse me. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Okay, let's put this box out of the way, and then we're gonna uh, compare. Here, hang on a sec. I wanna see how fast he is. That's some decent speed. It's faster than... A lot of other... I, I, it might be faster than my Fisher-Price Boko. I might switch uh, motors, if I'm honest. I'll probably keep this box, because I'm going to probably make custom things out of it. Despite that I'm already done with a lot of the sets. Okie dokie, so... We got the Hit Toys, Thomas. Very nice. Uh, got a little thing on his face, but I can just use rubbing alcohol for that. Oh my lord, I... I adored... I adore this so much. Obviously, this one is a hell of a lot better, but honestly, this... I can't, I can't say that it's not great or even good. It's it's amazing. I, I give this a 9 out of 10, to be honest, because... I might switch the motors for... Yeah, I might switch the motors for Thomas and... Um, for this Thomas, because he... I need him to be fast. Now, let's compare him to Boko. Let's compare the Boko. So we got... This is the Hit Toys Boko. These stickers are in a hell of a lot better con condition than the Boko that I'm using. They're actually a lot more different too, actually. I actually, I never realized that. This is my uh, Fisher-Price Boko. Yeah, I, uh, at first when I bought Boko, I didn't care what Boko I was going to use, I just needed a Boko, but and then I found a, well actually I did want the painted face one, but uh, 
Oh my gosh. He, um... Actually, hang on a sec. Um... Oh. I can probably just use this. Uh... I don't know, it might be inconsistency, and you guys know how much I hate inconsistency, but, um, uh, what is it? But when I found bo this Boko, it was like 20-something bucks, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. So, I picked it up, and, um, yeah. Then I bought this Navford Station, and then this Boko came in, and I, I'm, again, um, I'm probably gonna, uh, maybe sell it. I don't know. I kind of don't want to because, like, it's shocking. I... Boko is probably the only Hit Toys character I never had as a kid. I got him a few years later. Um, no, maybe I did have a Boko. I don't know. This is literally my third Boko ever. Because when I was, um, when I was younger, I got this same Boko... When I was seven, my dad bought me this Boko, and then, well, no, not this Boko specifically. I lost that, and then a few, when I was, again, buying props, I decided to buy Boko again, because I, I felt like Boko was a character that, you know, needs some more screen time. And then I bought this Navford Station, and it came with this Boko, and this Nostalgic Thomas, so, um... Another thing I'm really shocked on is there is barely any paint chips on this guy. Like, dear lord, how? Every Toby that you would buy, every Diesel that you would buy, and every freaking Boko, and every freaking Diesel 10 or Spencer, they would always have a paint chip. This Boko, you can barely even notice it. That's an easy fix, though, to be honest. And he has a few chips on the roof, but again, I don't know. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. Probably in the future, I'm gonna probably use um, cut the face off and maybe use this for like uh, custom or something. That but that will probably win be when the hero of Sodor is done. Um. All right, let's compare it to the big guns, eh? Uh, let me. I still gotta film the Tidmouth station, and I'm using one of these for Tidmouth, and then I'm gonna use both of these for, um, Napper. Uh, let's see. It's this, this one. Ooh, maybe that might not work. Actually... No, no, it is gonna work. Hang on. Yeah, it's gonna work. Alrighty. Alrighty. So... This... This is how Naffer Station is going to look like, basically. I'm not, uh, okay guys, actually, I will not be filming Naffer Station in this location. Naffer Station and pro and possibly crew will be filmed in a different location. Naffer Station needs to look big, and I, I can't, I can't do it with, um, I can't do it with this, um, this room, I'm sorry. So... Yes, expect, expect Napford Station to have more impressive filming, um, style. It's, if you can say the least. I'm gonna, I'm just setting up tracks so I can take pictures and behind the scenes of... So, you guys, like, be, might be wondering, oh, what, well, um, how are you gonna do that? Because, um, uh, just go with it, because I know it's, it's six tracks, 
I actually wanted to get the player L um, station, Napper station, but that's a pain in the butt to get. So, yeah, I decided to just go with the Napper. I mean, the uh, Trackmaster Nafford station. So, yes. Alrighty. And it's perfect, so that means our eight main characters could get some uh, good promotion per bleh, promotional photos. I am so excited. Now I can finally get this uh, movie done. I got five more sets. And there goes Toby again. And, um... Yeah, guys. So, thank you for watching this. I really appreciate you got your guys' support. And for, um... Just for being there with me on this journey. And I cannot wait to get this freaking movie done. And can release it for you guys. So, uh, let me, Toby, get back in here. Okay. Gonna have to derail you. There you go. So, yeah, guys. Um, thank you, and um, I will see you guys in the movie. See you guys.